Hey everyone, my name is Dave. I have three triple ball bowling bags that I'm going to compare for you today to help you make your decision when you're buying one of these bags. There wasn't a lot of information out there for me. I want to make it easier for you. So first I have a uh, Storm Streamline bag. This is 180 bucks. I have the Path Pyramid bag. This is 200 bucks. Comes in other colors, black and another color, uh, as opposed to yellow. I have the Storm Rolling Thunder bag, also comes in multiple uh, colors, and it is about 220 bucks. We're gonna talk about handles, we're gonna talk about the wheels, we're gonna talk about the protection uh, and for the balls, and we're gonna talk about the pockets. Uh, and I will just tell you right off the bat, is this worth the extra money? Yes. Um, this is a bag that I'm gonna be using. If you wanna hear the specifics on why, stick around. Looking at handles to start, but they're all gonna work. It's really personal preference. For me, I don't really love the streamlined handle. It is a bit harder to move. It doesn't go quite as easily. I don't love this under the hand sort of release mechanism where I have to grip it and hold it down to move it. It's just, it feels uh, like more effort and I don't know. I don't, I don't love it as much. The uh, Path Pyramid uh, is definitely very smooth. It's comfortable handle, feels great. Top button release. Um, I just wish that they didn't have these two nested pieces of steel. You see everything else on the other two have uh, continuous uh, thick pieces of steel and, and this one um, unfortunately uh, has these two nested pieces and it's, it's just a little more rattly, it's just not quite as uh, beefy. Um, and then this one, it's, it is my favorite, uh, it's extremely smooth, uh, hearty steel, feels great. So, rolling thunder uh, for the win. So when we look at the wheels, you'll notice some differences uh, between all of the designs. The Path Pyramid uses the thinnest wheels. Uh, of course, uh, friction is a function of area, so with this being the thinnest wheels, this bag is just gonna wheel around real smoothly and feel great. Um, should you use it? Maybe. Um, but the only thing you're giving up here is some structural stability, right? It's more prone to rock around. So if you're taking a lot of corners, going quickly, you might find this one a little more out of control. It is something that I experience with my two ball roller bag, sometimes going to tip over, and it has similar size wheels. So uh, it's nice, but you might have a problem with tipping. Um, the Strike Force uh, has just big old thick wheels, uh, works, um, but my, uh, only issue is obviously the, the converse, right? It feels uh, a bit more lugubrious to move around. Also a little bit smaller in diameter. Whereas your Storm Rolling Thunder, the biggest wheels, they're uh, as tall, about as tall as the Pyramid. Both of these are bigger than the Strike Force. Uh, that's gonna give you a smooth ride. But um, you'll notice there are these grooves that are cut into the uh, wheel. And so it's gonna reduce some of that friction effect which makes it not as smooth as the pyramid to roll around, but pretty good and pretty dang stable. So it's not likely to tip over. Um, something I experienced a lot with the two ball roller and this being taller, more propensity to tip. So uh, I definitely like the design of these wheels the best. Something I didn't know that I needed to consider initially when looking at the triple ball roller was the design of this bottom plate. You'll notice on the two Storm products that um, this piece where all of you know, your weight is gonna end up resting and going through this point when the bag is upright, Storm products, they are reinforced at the bottom. So this is not likely to break. If you look at online reviews, you'll see number of images of this piece broken through uh, through the middle. Um, it might also be because on the two storm bags, if you're picking this up to maybe put it in the trunk of your car, you're gripping it off the fabric like so. Whereas with this one, the handle is integral into this base plate. So again, you might be applying more stress through this bracket. Uh, so with this being more prone to break from the pictures and the reviews I see online, within a few months of normal use, I just can't bring myself to use this back. Talking about pockets, looking at the Streamline by Storm, you have one long pocket on top and one long pocket on the side. Um, it's not my favorite configuration. I would rather have uh, like a medium and a small pocket. Uh, I think it's easier to organize uh, your, your gear. 
Um, if you have multiple pairs of shoes, that might be useful for you up here, but take note that there are no vent pockets for air, uh, which is not ideal. Your stinky shoes are gonna make this pocket not smell that great. Uh, it is padded, everything's got double zippers. It'll work, just not my favorite. Looking at the pockets on the Path Pyramid, I do prefer this configuration, both on the top and on the side. You have a medium pocket and then a small pocket, same thing on the side. And in addition, you have a front pocket too. Um, you do have your air vent holes for your shoes. Um, everything's got double zippers. I wish the clasps were a little bit bigger. Uh, definitely the storm, um, uh, this part of the zipper. It feels much better, but the zippers work. Uh, inside, you don't have any padding. Uh, you have this vinyl plastic material uh, that will probably protect uh, from any scuffs and dirt, make it easier to clean, but uh, I do wish that was padded. Pretty good. Again, you've got um, uh, different size pockets, kind of a long one and then a small one. You've got uh, a little front cover pocket and you've got the two top pockets. You have the uh, vent holes for shoes right here. It is padded inside. It's definitely my favorite configuration. I have lots of accessories and this will help keep them organized. I also like the inside, you have access to those pockets uh, internally. So if you've got your bag open, you're getting your balls out, you just reach in, grab your shoes and anything else you need. Same is true on the path pyramid, internal pockets, streamline, it is not a feature. So the last thing I'm gonna to talk to you about on these bags are the internal protection for the balls. Um, this is the streamline. Uh, it's very basic. You've got the cups at the bottom. Uh, you've got some pads between, they're a little flimsy, they're okay. Uh, you've got a pad at the bottom, so totally basic, it works. And you two lifting straps there, right here. Right here we go with the path pyramid um, or pyramid path uh, bag. A bit more all-encompassing. You've got this uh, padding that goes all the way around. A uh, bit more, uh, bit more padding on the sides for the balls. Uh, yeah, I, I like this one a little better. It looks like it'll be a little more, offer a little more protection. And then lastly, we have the rolling thunder, which really it's in a league of its own. Um, you've got, I mean, look at this. These plastic molded pieces, foam around, it's really nice uh, uh, supports for the ball. It just absolutely fits it perfectly. And then drop that over the top and it's even locked in place. So uh, this is hard to beat also with the padding at the bottom. So this is the bad that I'm gonna be picking. Um, if, uh, it, for any reason doesn't work, I'm gonna put a link to another video right up here explaining why. If you're seeing my finger pointing at absolutely nothing, that means this bag is still working great and it will have been in use since midsummer of 2023. Thanks for tuning in, bye-bye.